am Bianca, and I'm a level one chef. I'm Gabrielle, and I'm a level two chef. I'm Chris, and I've been a chef for 30 years. My recipe is a twist on the traditional hot wings. Add a little honey to give it a nice sweet and tangy flavor. My recipe is going to be featuring the scotch bonnet pepper. Even though it's super spicy, it has a ton of flavor. So my dish is gonna be a fusion of two cultures. My wife is Korean, my background is in Southern food. This dish kind of encompasses both of our styles. So let's get started on the marinade. Before anything else even happens. We're adding the chicken to a Ziploc bag to add the seasoning. So it's really easy to make this marinade. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my oil. Thyme, scallions. For the seasoning, we have paprika, mustard powder, a pinch salt. of salt. Oh crap, do it too much salt. And a pinch of pepper. pepper. Seasoned salt is what chicken is made for. Someone told me this was like a heart attack in a bottle, but like, that's not important here. And now, behold, the scotch bonnet pepper. To get an idea of just how spicy these are, the scotch bonnet pepper is actually around 40 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. And we're gonna eat it today, woo! So the yogurt here is really gonna be the workhorse. There's a lot of acidulated properties in the yogurt that will really tenderize the meat, just like in buttermilk. The garlic, the soy, and the sesame is there strictly for flavor. I can like feel it radiating into my eyes. And then you just kind of mix all this up together. Take a little taste. It's perfect. Do -do -do. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my marinade straight onto the chicken wings. Ah! So now I'm gonna add my chicken wings. I'm gonna be using a free range, hormone free chicken wing. So free range chicken is good because for one, how it's raised, for two, how it's fed. These are done and I'm gonna let them marinate for two hours. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for an hour. So now we have our seasoned chicken. If it doesn't look like this, you're doing it wrong, sis. All right. Time to make the hot sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and chop my peppers, de-seeding it because the seeds are where the heat is kept. And you're gonna wanna chop them really fine. You don't want a big chunk of this in your hot sauce because it will probably reduce you to tears. I really fear the scotch bonnet pepper. My hot sauce. So we're gonna add about a stick and a half of butter. Wait until the butter completely melts before we add any other ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and add my deli mustard, orange juice, which is gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the sauce. A little lime juice and my spices. Cumin, coriander, curry powder, salt, and pepper. So right here I have some gochugang. What is this, you might ask? It's made from a blend of red and green chili peppers, pounded into a paste and dehydrated. So the butter is totally melted. So now we're gonna add Frank's hot sauce. This here is vinegar powder. You've ever had a bag of barbecue chips or the salt and vinegar chips? This is exactly what they use right here. Now for the last bit, one cup of honey that always hits the spot. We're mixing all of these ingredients together. And there's my sauce. So now that I got my heat, let's fry the chicken. Throw them on the grill. Here we go. These suckers have been marinating now for about two hours. My chicken has been marinating for about an hour. Let's get ready to fry. I have some all-purpose flour right here, cornstarch, some baking powder, and then I'm gonna mix all that up. Let's get ready to operate. After I dredge the chicken, I'm gonna lay it right here on my rack and kind of let the air get to it for about a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. This is the way you make wings. So now we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. A grilled wing is the best Wing. It just has that char. And especially with a recipe that's really spicy like this, it just adds to the flavor. It's time to fry. I got my oil at 350. Probably gonna be able to fit maybe one or two in there nicely. Got some grill lines going on. You don't get that from deep frying or baking. I prefer to fry my wings because of the crispiness aspect of it. See how it has that golden crispiness to it. So our chicken just came out of the oven. Time to coat them in hot sauce. So we're gonna add the chicken to the bowl. Got it. <laughs> So you want your chicken to be at 165 degrees. You want to really cook out the bacteria. Chicken's cooked. Now I want to drizzle some of the scotch bonnet hot sauce all over these. And we're pouring the hot sauce. Oh my gosh. And while it's still hot, I'm going to sift my spicy gochugong powder onto the chicken. And what this does is really going to create that fragrance and heat that I've been talking about. I like to let the meat soak up all the juices. We'll let the chicken sit for five minutes. Ah, love. They look amazing. To complement the hot wings, I'm gonna make ginyu. 
Ginyip is a perilla leaf that's marinated in sesame and soy. So I'm gonna take garlic, some Korean chili flakes, soy, the sesame, a little bit of sugar, sesame seeds, blend all this up, thin it out with a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna brush each leaf individually and stack them ever so nicely and let that ferment. I am gonna be making a chutney. So we're gonna start with a little bit of oil. I have some shredded purple onion here. Cook them until they are a little bit translucent. They smell so good. I'm gonna add in my apple cider vinegar and my mango. And the mango is gonna help tone down some of the hot, salty, savory flavors in the chicken. So I'm gonna be making a gochugong sauce. This is the paste version of the gochugong that we saw in the beginning. I'm gonna add some soy, some vinegar, and a little bit of water to kind of dilute it out. My mango's soft, so I'm gonna add in the rest, brown sugar, my allspice. Pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper. Cook down for about 12 minutes until it gets nice and thick and syrupy. The spiciness and the tanginess of this sauce is gonna be the perfect marriage of everything that's gonna be on the plate. Ranch and hot wings is just a match made in heaven. You can't get too much ranch. A lot of people like blue cheese. Blue cheese is disgusting. You guys are monsters. Now this celery is synonymous with wings, not blue cheese. So another thing that I like to serve with my wings are crepinettes. It's another way to utilize the chicken wing meat. Mix it up with a little bit of egg, garlic, ginger, some herbs, pepper. This right here is called a farce, almost as if you're making meatloaf. And I'm gonna wrap that up in call fat. What call fat is, it's the thin membrane that surrounds the organs of the cow. And once they're all ready, then we're gonna saute. And here we have our chicken wing crepinette. I can eat all of this in one setting. Now I'm just going to go ahead and serve this chutney on the side. So here I have the chicken wings, the crepinette, the guinip sauce, and some fresh herbs. And these are my hot wings with ranch and celery. And voila, here are my wings. And these are my hot wings. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is really Spicy. good. Spicy. Tangy. It's really, really good. Perfect. Finger looking good, literally. I never cook for my family, but I would definitely cook them these wings. I'm very, very, very happy with these. Wow. The sweetness is there and it's Definitely a little hot, my mouth's burning. <laughs> it's everything that it's supposed to be. It's the marriage of the two flavors and the two cultures together. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best hot wings that you can get anywhere. Let's take a look at how our three chefs were able to mix heat and flavor while making hot wings. Bianca and Gabrielle used the dramat and wingettes in their recipes, while Chris used the entire wing. The wingettes are comprised of tender, dark meat. The meat on the dramat, while technically is considered dark meat, actually has a texture a bit closer to white meat. The wing tips are tiny pointy pieces shaped like a feather. They are almost completely skin, bone, and cartilage with no meat. Bianca seasoned her chicken with Lowry's, salt, pepper, and paprika, resulting in a well-balanced combination of savory and woodsy flavors. And I can't really say what the flavor is, but what I will say is banging, okay? Gabrielle and Chris both marinated their wings. When chicken is marinated, moisture is absorbed, making it juicier. Gabrielle marinated her chicken in a puree of oil, chilies, scallions, thyme, dry mustard, and salt, creating a deep harmony of flavor. Chris's marinade consisted of sesame oil, garlic powder, soy, and yogurt. The result is a nutty, salty, creamy blend with hints of sourness. The acid in the yogurt helps break down the muscle tissue and connective proteins, acts as a tenderizer, and enriches the flavor of the final product. Bianca roasted her wings in an oven, Gabrielle used a grill, and Chris used a deep fryer. Bianca baked her wings at a high temperature for 40 to 45 minutes. The wings slightly shrunk as water evaporated from the surface and may add browning occurred, producing a deep color, aroma, and flavor. Gabrielle grilled her wings. Grilling adds smokiness and tenderness, locks in moisture, and cooks the meat on the inside by creating a caramelized crust on the outside. Chris used a mixture of flour, baking powder, and cornstarch to bread his chicken wings. Cornstarch is often used as a thickening agent. However, when used to fry chicken, it creates a super crisp crust that seals in the juices of the chicken. 
For Chris's wings, the process of deep frying cooked and dehydrated them. That's where that crispy goodness comes into play. Frying cooks food quickly, producing a crispy surface and a tender, moist interior. Bianca used store-bought Frank's hot sauce, but added melted butter and honey. The butter added creaminess to her sauce, while honey increased its sweetness and stickiness. Gabrielle used scotch bonnet peppers in her sauce. These peppers are among the hottest, ranging from 80,000 to 400,000 Scoville units, which measure heat. For comparison, the hottest jalapenos are only 5,000 Scoville units. I know how dangerous it is, so I'm just going to treat it with a lot of care. Scotch bonnet peppers are extremely spicy, yet add a slight sweet taste to the sauce with hints of tomatoes, apples, and cherries. Chris's wings got their heat from goju chang powder. This is made from koju garu, which are Korean red chili flakes. It has heat to it with hints of orange and cardamom. They are vibrant red, coarse in texture, and fairly smoky and spicy in taste. Ranch sauce was served with Bianca's wings. Capsaicin, the chemical in chili responsible for heat, is fat soluble. Ranch dressing contains casein, a fat loving protein. Casein binds to heat receptors, making capsaicin easier to tolerate and more pleasing and rounded in flavor. The mangoes in Gabrielle's chutney added a break from the intense heat found in the scotch bonnet peppers. The mango tempered the sweetness, added tanginess, and raised the acid level of the chutney. So you have a little bit of everything in this chutney. Chris made a sauce out of gochujang paste and soy sauce. The result was a thick dipping sauce with pungent, savory notes and an inviting, warm, spicy kick. The crepinets and perilla leaves that Chris served with his wings tied everything together and emphasized the Korean influence in his dish. As you can see from our chef's dishes, just because something has a lot of heat, doesn't mean it cannot have a lot of flavor. Thank you.